With the rise of NFTs, a whole host of potentially unfamiliar words and phrases have also entered the lexicon. To better understand this brave new world, it's important to understand the lingo around them as well. In this episode, we've curated 10 NFT terms and meanings to help newbies understand and start their NFT journey. But before we go too far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next videos on the best NFTs to buy. Let's start with NFTs. What are NFTs? A non-fungible token NFT, is basically a digital asset or can be called a cryptographic asset having a unique identification code and metadata which differentiate it from a fungible token. As with cryptocurrencies, they cannot be traded or exchanged at equivalent values. The demand for these digital collectibles has been extremely high in recent years and many of them have sold for millions on designated trading platforms. 10 NFT Terms You Should Know 1. Airdrop Airdrop is the term used to refer to bonuses or free collectibles. This is a way of promoting a new NFT or adding to the popularity of an existing one. Airdrops are, therefore, promotional tools employed to increase the user base for an NFT collection. Sometimes, airdrop NFTs are presented as a reward to holders for their loyalty or positive feedback on social media for a project. Perhaps the most popular airdrop in the world of NFTs was the Serum launch by the creators of the Bored Ape Yacht Club BAYC. As stated earlier, it allowed existing holders to transform their bored apes into mutant apes. However, it's important to check the source of the airdrop. While airdrops coming from reputed projects are certainly worth grabbing, scammers use the method to steal private information. An unknown NFT dropping in the inbox from a random individual would most likely be a scam. 2. Drop Drop means to launch or release. The word is not just associated with the world of NFTs, but is also increasingly used for other products such as music albums and merchandise. When dropped, unless specifically restricted, a collection becomes available for trading in the market, and trading begins at the floor price. 3. Flip When a trader buys and sells an NFT quickly, the transaction is known as flip. Quickly doesn't necessarily imply selling within hours, it can also be a few days from buying. Flip is done mostly by those who want to make a quick profit from an NFT they know will remain in demand in a short time. This is similar to share market transactions where traders buy and sell a promising stock for profit within days during which its value is rising. 4. Floor Price The floor price is the base price of an NFT. When a project is dropped on NFT platforms, trading begins at the floor price. This is the minimum you have to pay to acquire a token from the collection. The floor price changes constantly with time. If a collection becomes famous, the floor price is bound to rise. Usually, the NFT creator is the one who sets the floor price. This means that anyone who wants to sell NFTs can set a floor price for the same. The lowest floor price is reflected on NFT trading platforms such as OpenSea. 5. Gas Gas is basically the charge you need to pay for any trading on NFT platforms. In some platforms, gas needs to be paid in every step, from minting to NFT sales. Gas is paid via cryptocurrency. Since most NFTs exist on the Ethereum blockchain network, the preferred digital currency used for gas is Ether. It's important for anyone trading in NFTs to note the gas charge. Since it needs to be paid at every step, from minting to selling and purchasing, it progressively gets added to the cost of the transaction. The sell price of the NFT must therefore factor in the gas charges, Otherwise, it may result in a loss to the seller, especially to those who are new to NFTs. Similarly, the buyer too has to pay a gas price for every transaction, even cancelling an order requires a gas price. Gas prices are influenced by the traffic on the blockchain as well as the size of the NFT. If the network is congested, the gas price will be high. Larger files also require higher gas fees. Prices of gas can be adjusted depending on the NFT platforms on which it's being traded. Experts know how to keep the gas prices as low as possible through ways such as setting gas limits and trading time. 6. Minting Although NFTs are digital assets, it doesn't mean everything digital is an NFT. For example, a photograph taken by a smartphone existing in its gallery is certainly a digital file, but it's not an NFT. But why is that so? Like cryptocurrencies, NFTs exist on the blockchain. Therefore, all NFTs need to be in a form that can be stored in the decentralized distributed ledger through which their ownership can be tracked. All digital files, including music and digital art, thus need to be converted into NFTs. 
Minting, one of the most noteworthy NFT terms, is the process through which digital files are converted into digital assets meant for NFT trading. Through this, anyone can create their own NFTs from their own files to preserve as a unique token or trade them on NFT platforms. With the help of platforms such as OpenSea and Rarible, NFT minting has become fairly easy. All that you need to do is to have a crypto wallet linked to the platform, upload the file that needs to be converted into an NFT, and use the tools on the platform to mint it. 7. PFP PFP stands for Profile Picture. In simple words, when an NFT token looks like a profile picture, it can be called a PFP. The crypto punks and apes of BAYC are the best examples of PFPs. Lava Labs Crypto Punk was the first PFP-based NFT project. All crypto punks are pixelated personas that can be used as profile pictures on social media by their owners. The same is the case with BAYC and MAYC. Interestingly, the PFP type NFTs have been a rage among collectors. 8. NFT Project The first thing that might crop up in a casual conversation is an NFT project. So, what exactly is that? An NFT project is basically a collection of NFTs belonging to the same family. For example, the famous CryptoPunks and BAYC. NFT projects begin with an idea and can diversify into multiple sub-projects. The creators of a project can also launch a different project along the same lines as the original. The brains behind BAYC, a high-value NFT project, was followed up with Mutant Ape Yacht Club MAYC, in which apes were depicted as mutants. Tokens of a project almost always have a common feature. In the case of a BAYC, all tokens are basically apes, but each has a distinct set of attributes. However, in the case of CryptoPunks, there are multiple face templates, with each having a separate attribute. 9. Rug pull. In simple words, rug pull is scamming people in the NFT world. There have been several cases where gullible enthusiasts have been lured to invest in NFTs. The price of the NFTs is pushed up and when the timing is right for the scammers, they simply make away with the profits. Once that happens, the value of the NFTs sink to zero, a total loss for the investors. Rug pulls also happen in the world of cryptocurrency, which too is an investment. One of the most talked about rug pulls from 2021 was the Squid Game crypto scam. The token appeared on the PancakeSwap marketplace on the 26th of October. 10. Staking Now, one of the most important NFT terms is staking, which is when holders of an NFT lock up their collection for a period to earn a better return on investment. This is somewhat like fixed deposits that banks offer. Here, assets are locked in decentralized finance DeFi platforms. Rewards are generated based on the number of NFTs staked and the annual percentage yield APY, which is roughly defined as the real rate of return on an investment in a year while factoring in the effects of compound interest. The investment strategy allows holders to make money from NFTs without selling them. That's it for this episode. Please give us your feedback in the comment section below. To watch more episodes on financial topics like this, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to support us even more, buy us a coffee from the link in the description. Good luck and see you in the next episode.